Hello, I'm Ross Monson. I'm the refit manager at Berthon, and um, this is the Aglaia project behind me that we've just done a full restoration on. So the Aglaia project came about. The owner um, found a 15-year-old 80-footer sailing boat. He wanted to take around the world. He had the option to buy a new boat. He looked out in the new boat market and couldn't find anything that he, wa that he wanted um, that suited his style, um, and he decided to buy this 15-year-old vessel. Uh, and he wanted to take it somewhere that he completely, could completely refurbish it, make it new. Um, and uh, that's why Berthon was chosen and the Aglaia project came about. I came like to berth on for a number of different reasons. Firstly, when the owner bought the boat, he didn't have a crew uh, and he wanted the project to be totally managed in-house. He was looking for a lot of interior work to be done and he needed, needed to go somewhere where there were a lot of good shipwrights, good woodwork, uh, painting facilities on site. But I think more than anything is that the whole project could be managed on site um, and he could be off site and basically talk with the project manager and get what he wanted. That was the biggest feature. Um, and he didn't have to have any crew intervention. Um, then two thirds of the way re through the refit, the crew joined us. We integrated them into the refit and obviously it's a big, big thing giving the owner what he wants, but at the same time giving the crew what they need to do the job. So we work with both of these aspects on site, in house. We, uh, the boat never has to leave, none of the parts go away. Uh, and we project manage every part of that. So, one of the biggest challenges with the Aglaia project, we had a set time frame. The owner wanted his boat for the summer in the Med. He had to get it to Malta and then he had to get it back to the south of France. So, within the time frame, originally when the boat came here, it was coming for a paint job. Uh, that, bit, that paint job, once the owner got the boat here and understood what Berthon could do and understood what he could do with the vessel, he basically decided that he wanted to do the full refurbishment. As he said himself, it started as a paint job, it turned into a refit, and then the refit turned into his restoration. And the restoration went from exterior, top sides, deck, mast, rigging, electrics, everything that we could possibly do to that boat except for touching the hull we did and sent the boat on their way and they had a very fast delivery to Malta very minor little things little details just to just to keep the owner happy uh, soft furnishings when they got there and we're supporting them right now as we speak so Just listen out for my call because it is quite close. Glide was an evolving project, started off as a paint job and basically turned into a full restoration. But we had to do all of that in the same time frame. So as the project grew, we had to bring more labor onto the project. We had to adapt, uh, we had to accelerate certain things. And um, 
basically managing the order of in which things happen to be most efficient not only for the owner, most efficient for the boat, um, but the most efficient way that we could get the boat out of the shed as quickly as possible, but also keep to the high quality. Uh, the owner was very strict about his levels of quality and detail and really trying to, to push the envelope and, and get the highest standard we could in the time frame. And we utilized every opportunity. Um, a lot of the other things, the, uh, the age of the boat, obviously a uh, 15 year old boat, the technology has moved on a lot, not so much in yacht construction of that type of vessel, but in electrics, electronics, machinery, um, and we fully upgraded and updated engineering systems in-house. We did all the design work ourselves, um, and basically giving the owner the options and opportunity to update it, giving him the, the, um, the ability to change the boat in the way he wanted and make it modern. So some of the elements that we were most proud of here at Berthon, um, obviously are, are the paint shed. We are able to come up, because of our climate controlled booth, we can have an off the gun finish, which means no polishing, which means the maximum amount of paint on the vessel and also for the future longevity of the paint job. Part of the Aglaia project, we had an interior designer uh, assigned by the owner. Um, this was a, a lovely lady called Lola B Design. We had to make her designs and her dreams and the owner's ambitions a reality and also fit it into the marine environment, which proved to be quite tricky in some places. The owner had a very particular style in this house, a modern style that Lola B wanted to follow. Uh, and we had to turn Aglaia around from a very old fashioned dated design into a very modern, sleek, minimalistic interior. And a lot of that, quite part of the challenging work in that was the, the fixtures, the finishings, also the fabrics, the textures, the colors. And one of the major jobs was the headlinings, the suede headlinings, a macro suede. And obviously we had to turn a large part of our workshop facility into a very clean room, working with these very prestigious fabrics which came from Italy and everything was done on site at Berthon again. Everything was done by the team and we relined a lot of the bulkheads in a, in a leather, a faux leather uh, and as I've said we also recovered all the headlinings in a suede that was um, very difficult to get right and we also made sure that all the suede had to line up so as you brush the suede in the boat the it all brushed forward to aft in the boat so that all the panels looked the same. And the other feature that the owner brought to us was a company called Cornflake, who are a high-end entertainment company, entertainment systems company, uh, and they integrated a fully integrated entertainment system into Aglaia, which for that vessel is very, incredibly high-end and quite rare, um, and obviously is a big asset to the boat. They also provide remote support, um, and also support we supported and fitted, obviously had to custom build all the cabinets and also the entertainment system into the boat. So we came up with some very unique solutions um, for cooling, for storage, also to maximize the amount of space left over when we put this entertainment system in. So uh, we worked quite very closely with Cornflake for six months to make the entertainment system on this boat a reality. And then we also worked very closely with Sanders Sales, who provided the sales. They also provided all the covers which was a very bespoke and unique feature for the boat. There were a lot of covers for this boat. Obviously, we, the owner had spent a, a lot of time and effort repainting the interior. Uh, and as the crew were using the boat, the, the interior had to be protected. And then obviously, when the owner was on board, the cushions and upholstery had to be a feature which was um, basically specified by the interior designer. So we had double double stitching like Bentley cars, we had um, bespoke leather, we had suede, there were a lot of very high-end unique features in the in the upholstery that we had to develop and work with Sanders to make it a reality. And he can take that boat to the south of France and it sits there beside all the new boats and is essentially, apart from the hull, is as modern and up-to-date as it can be. 